My name is Makabo Mapula, Helen Christian name, Sibidi Masene. I come from Marabjani, uh, the place where it's full of uh, people called Bakata tribe and uh, grew traditionally very helpful with the skills in through the uh, elderly people from generation to generation and that's where I happened to come to Johannesburg. Well for me being um, struggling, suffering, harassed for many many years, not being able to meet African people, grown up with the lectures from the grand-grandparents telling me about where they came from and how they came until they reached to South Africa. It was a wonderful stories on communication. Then I happened to be disappointed by inverted, being invited in the domestic work by my mother. But all the stories had not ended. They kept on telling the stories because through the skills, there was always a storytelling. Everything they teach you is about storytelling. And then kept on saying they're coming from far away. Far away, I researched that. I found that, yes, we come from Central Africa, all of us. We split it from uh, Central. We came down and we split it, of course, in Africa. Then um, these people are having meaningful that the love is always extending people to communicate again. The languages were changed and they always would say to you, the languages, yes, the languages are changed because when we are going apart, looking after creator's work, our tongues got changed, but we are one man, one woman. So we cannot deny ourselves being called I'm, I'm, I'm Ratwana, I'm Mukata, I'm all this. We are all one man, one woman. Only when the tongue, the tongue changed is when we are part. We're going to keep on being apart for a long time because our works has to uh, work harder to look after creators animals. So we used to be moving by creation. So now in South, they got very much limited after their children were taken away from them to be um, working for city life. And they always used to say, we had taught them all the skills so that we can communicate and do our work and grow. What we wanted to do, we wanted to meet the world. We wanted to meet the world where the sun rise when our sun set then working with them. But unfortunately, we are disappointed. There are people stolen from us. Once these people are stolen, our children are also stolen. After being having to share a lot of skills to them, they've given all the skills to white people. They said they're going to improve our works, which our crops need to be improved. Uh, all our works need to be improved. So they're fetching money from the city life. They never came back. They only brought children. That's where this is disappointed, the disappointment was. And that was very, very painful to our grandparents, where they always used to say, now we got, we got old. <clears throat> what are we going to say when we leave the earth? Because every child, when the child had been born, had something to do in life. You, there's no child that can just be born. Share is what Creator had given to go and help those who are there and improve. But the meeting is when we meet those who <coughs> have the sunrise when our set. But we need to work hard. I think for me the title 
it's it's kind of the dream of those dreams. I think it can completely links with those dreams that we need to meet and when we work we need to also communicate where the sun rises when our sun set. And this title said when we see us we never saw each other. It's only the first time. So my hope is that this is the first time where the sex museum what do you call it uh, try to say africa must meet so it's when we see us starting here but this has been a long dream from the grand grandparents they knew why they were born and they knew why the child has to be born for helping them to see through and of course europe also knew that that's why they had so many they made so many children after they teaching them skills have to split around the world and dominate other people because the skills had been given to them so their our people had not given skills they have given been skills but they were caught by those who were given skills and had guns to be able to do what they want to those who had skills instead of communication My practice is that my influence came from my grandparents where they used to do they used to actually build houses and they used to make a ceremony after the house has been put the roof that roof was a head of having all the brain for the skills and they used to make a ceremony for that head day after the woman would come and appreciate the man's home the man said and built the walls on the side of the house making a courtyard that courtyard they would appreciate what the man had done for the roofing and what the the grandparents used to say it's not the house it's a shade of the uh, rain it's a shade of the sun but the house here is built it inside you where we going to have to work hard here from this shade and move out to communicate with the others who are gifted like us where the sun rises when our sun set but all their appreciation they decorated the walls to show that they love their roof which is the head of the house and the the decoration they will make their own dishes what i thought my grandmother was a painter of wall making after they decorated they made the wall they could decorate them and they followed their parents and i followed my grandmother and what they wanted in improvement through my, our parents was to take this feather and she would always said I'm now pinning you because it traditionally the woman the girl was not to bring children at home before marriage now they brought you here without the marriage they never got marriage but they brought you from Johannesburg what I'm doing now I'm pinning you to teach you all this work which I taught your parents your mother now I'm going to call you my gift and you must learn everything well to my contribution be, uh, to african history is that i got these histories from the grandparents i was sent by mr mol after struggling and suffering being touched taught by policemen being jailed i happened to i happened to find a german person who came from germany when he was she was two they were two months that family here and they loved me i loved them it was first time meeting a white person acting the same way that they were acting and i was shocked because i didn't have people white people like that they always chased me away they always fighted me and said you think you are a white person you walking 
freer in the street like a white person and I used to be caught for jail. And in the houses, I would sing as they employed me. They would say, you're singing like you own the house. So I had so many accuses from white people until I meet this German lady called Heidi Pitch. And therefore, they open up from themselves. I was shocked. And I kept on telling them story about my grandmother. And one day they wanted to meet my grandmother and said to me, your grandmother is also our grandmother. We want to see her. But because they, the white people did not see what I'm having and what they didn't want to see our parents. So I didn't want them to go there because I used to go there once a year to clean up for my grandmother, to re, to, to re do a sprint cleaning once a year. I said, no, you can't go there, it's dirty. And they forced it until they found uh, Marapiani into the uh, uh, missionaries. And when they came to me, they said, look, we've got Marapiani, now we're gonna see your gra our grandparents without you. Then I had to agree to go. Then they went uh, to baptize the child in, in the Roman Catholic and they visited my grandmother. And of course, the communication with them started from there. Ancestral met. And after that, she started opening up, making art. After meeting my grandmother, that was shocking. Then I followed her. After following her, one day she did painting. And then I was not there. So after, when I came back, I said, you should have told me you're gonna be doing this painting. I would follow you, but I don't even know how you've done it. She said, I did it very quick because I have to give it a present in German. But already I said, I'm gonna find someone to help me. The kind of stories I would like to tell to our works, we never suffered. We survived on our own. We had all the animals, which they believe that they don't own by them. They are given to own those animals to look after. They didn't kill the cow. The cow was like God to them. They only killed the cow, the cow when there is a ceremony which related that they should kill the cow and report to the ancestors, even the goat. They were not to kill the goat without any relationship with what they're doing. What they were killing more, it was like pigs, uh, chickens, and of course eating the, the animals from the field. And then they worked very hard, but the, 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 the dream was always with them <clears throat> to work hard for a creator. When the, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the uh, white people came in that small village, they wanted to encourage them to, to build on lines. <clears throat> and they didn't want to, they said, look, we're not going to build on lines because here we have been given this, this uh, earth to work in it. We're not going to cut God's spirit out and have to just have lines like you people coming from town or coming from places where you came from. Here in structure is what we are learning from creator by his voice, not by your voice. So they didn't have anybody like a government building schools for them or church for them and they used to help each other building their homes, but everything they did it themselves. They paid their own teacher, they built their schools and paid their own teacher to teach their children. But always they used to say, this is to teach the children for what we are doing in the homes. And the teachers completely related to them and working with their side. And we used to get to school after two, we used to go and help the elderly people who had small crops. But then when they pay in the, the schools, the money used to go in the school, not in, the, in our hands. Then the school 
try and see how they divided to pay the teachers while our parents also give to pay the parents. They didn't get any, they didn't want to have anything from the government. So the registration was given. They said, we're giving the government to register the schools because we want when our children finishes here about improving our crops and our works. The child should go and see other things on the other side of the, the land, of the, the world. It's how they can go there openly, freer after registering the schools. And they themselves, they used to get out after the finishing working with the crops and every other things, they used to leave the women with the children looking after the works that is at home and they used to go out and search how other people are working. I think they, for me, they, I wanted to do the uh, figurative more because Mr. Moll taught me to do the feather uh, the figurative feather. So I needed to do the, 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 the body I see. And I went for a model in the Art Foundation. And I always used to receive the voice and say, you must be able to draw the face properly. You must be able to do, to do the body properly. But that, um, we received a... Um, uh, uh, workshop called Tupelo Art Project. That Tupelo Art Project was an abstract work. Uh, we used to throw um, the paint and the paint would have its self-control. And uh, Bill Ainsley used to call an uh, American uh, to come and help us to see through the world. But for me, I enjoyed it because the Creel Dali people wanted to, me to communicate with the, the world when the sun rise, when I was uh, sad. But then when I got to the Art Foundation, I found this workshop that says communication is coming from America because South Africa did not allow African people to get into universities. So then he, he's happened to Help, be helped by uh, what you call this sponsorship um, that helped us to call uh, this <coughs> U.S. artist to come here for two weeks and help us to throw. And that was an opening of the spirit to feel movement, moving elsewhere in the world. So then I didn't exhibit that uh, uh, feelings, but I had to keep on reading feelings. As I read feelings from the spreading of the paint, so I just followed. I kept on following. So the figurative came from the following of the throwing paint through to Pelo Art Project. Usalab used to help us communicating with the uh, USA um, uh, artists to be able to feel a freedom. So for it, for me, I think Viz did not know if he was helping us to see the world through a uh, uh, Tupelo art project, and he didn't. They didn't want African to get into university because they are white. But in that way, that belief of creator will give us the way to full to feel full our beliefs and accept his voices around the world had come through Tupelo. So Tupelo was a wonderful project to get us to meet and to reach the elder's dreams. So it brings everything it wants through sp my spirit. So I don't read the work. People do read the work for me because I don't know what I'm doing. It's just that happened. So for me, uni uh, all universities which wanted to dominate us, for me, I said hooray, because I met the world through Tupelo, sponsored by Yusalep, and they were moving. As African, 
we met here in this site, uh, museum. So maybe it's a starting point. For that communication that was needed by grandparents, it's a seed that has grown, has been planted in Africa. Creator had planted seed all over the world and said, you must follow. The following for, for them was very, very important. And that as young children, that following is us who are left to follow. And that must work 